Okay, we're here for another batch of uh, FFT Arena series of matches. Yep. And this time around, we have Saudi on top, known as Diamonds and Guns. And on bottom, we have Merov's team, Voodoo. Okay, Saudi has Isidora the Archer, Frank the Bard, Josephine the Archer, and Dean the Bard. A uh, couple notes. I did catch a mistake I made. I forgot to swap the equipment for the Bard class. For both Bards, actually. So now they have the PA gear instead of the MA gear. And I did catch another error on my part. Josephine was supposed to have all the chemist items. Well, not all, but the, but the chemist item that she had originally in the spreadsheet. And I forgot to mark that down. So now I marked it down. Make sure I don't make any more mistakes. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. So good eye on your... So good eye, Saudia. Good eye. Meanwhile, um, Meroth has Voodoo Queen the Wizard. Voodoo Shaman, the Oracle, Voodoo Cultist, the Samurai, and Voodoo Thug, the Monk. Uh, Sodia, like I said, like I stated before in her match against SSM, uh, they all rely on, well, the guns at least supposedly 100% accuracy. And I say supposedly because the only thing they can really count on these guns is projectile guard. Um, other than that, though, she's basically all around distance, di distance attacks, like the guns and the elemental. So, Elemental Bar with Magic Attack Up, very good idea. He's got to be pretty powerful. Uh, as for Melroth, a uh, Defensive Wizard with Yin Yang Magic, bit status based, uh, Support Unit Oracle, and Muramasa Samurai. She's basically the catalyst of both of these casters right here. Because when she inflicts Faith, that means the Yin Yang Magic and the Black Magic from the Wizard and the Oracles, respectively. He's going to do a lot better damage. And a typical uh, monk with a ranged weapon himself. Okay, round one between Saudia and Malroth will be going to Mount 104, Beluve Residence. This is the interior design of the Beluve Residence. Yep. Ugh, excuse me. Alright, so we got Saudia in the blue and... Mare off in the green. Open a gun shot right there. Make that two. Let's see what Voodoo Queen does. 190 damage, I think, flare. Life drain maybe going off. Voodoo thugs are going forward. 189 damage. That's actually a lot of damage from that crossbow. Demon Fire takes out the Oracle. And the Samurai is royal, so that means she's going to be twice as susceptible to Demon Fire. See, Rage will be going off. So the Oracle gets picked up. Flare. No kind of flood there. So now the archers are going to do what they're designed for and as the item bot. Okay, it looks like another flare being cast up. Question is, will it get cancelled? Undead's being charged up. 264 damage, so I, guess that, so I guess that won't matter. Kiku, 49 damage. That's tiny damage right there. Tiny. HP Restore does take effect, so good job. Zombie misses. Oh, Flare one hit KOs. Damn. So it's right now two on three. In favor of Maroth at the moment. Samurai goes for another ray. Isidora is gonna go for more. Phoenix down. Uh, but to be quite honest though, I don't think Celia's got what it takes to come back from this. 190 damage to Flare. More auto potion. Rays. See what Voodoo Queen does. Misses. Counter Flood. Surprisingly, the Oil Proc, for whatever reason, doesn't do as much damage as it should. And I think one of the Archers is still alive. Frank to the go. Demon Fire. Double KO. Wow. Celia might have a chance here. Celia just might. Just might have a chance here. Another Oil Proc. And I guess a cure 2 is about to be casted up. Crossbow shot misses from the monk. Gunshot gets cancelled, so wow. Good staying power shown by Sodia here. She's gonna be taking round one very shortly. HP Restore takes effect again. And another X Potion, alright. So it's right now four on one. Spin fist, but not for a lot of damage. Those X potions are flying right now. The only tr oh, nice crit from the bard. Very good finish. Celia takes round one. 
Round two between Saudia and Marath will be going to map 85, Medallia Plains. I think I've been on this map already a while back, but it doesn't matter. It's still a very good map. Very good large map. So we got Saudia in the blue, Marath in the green. Okay. So nothing too exciting happening as of yet. Everyone just kind of marching forward a little bit. All right. That. Okay. 180 damage flare. Question is, will it hit? But no, it's not a matter of if it will. It's a matter of it's a matter of when it will hit. I should say. So let's see Isadora to go for a gunshot. And another gunshot. Okay. Flare, 190 damage. No auto potion this time. 81% Beguile. Question is, will go off. Headbreak misses. Counter flood for 154 damage. That's actually a very good amount. Another flare is going to be charged up. Halaibi takes out uh, Voodoo Thug the Monk. Voodoo Cult is not to go on. Oh, Kiku. Not for a lot of damage. Dean is going to go for Hell Ivy. Slow proc on the bar. Beguile, it should hit. Yes, it does hit. Wow, so the bard's charmed. Gunshot takes her out. Gunshot, but not for a lot. Flare takes out the charm bard. So that beguile served basically no purpose whatsoever. Wow, Seldia is just rocking right now. She's kicking a lot of ass. And it's only a three on. Well, now it's gonna be a four on one, or four on two rather. Alright, so Voodoo Shaman gets up again, and she's gonna go for a raise onto the wizard. Could there be a recovery? We'll see. 78 damage, and another 78 damage takes out the Oracle. Frank's gonna be able to use Elemental. Good job of the anti sandbag right there. So Saudia definitely has best of both worlds at this point in time, because her team emphasizes on sandbagging and anti sandbagging, with gunshots and Elemental procs. 78 damage and another 78, which is actually a wiser move to take out the Oracle rather than heal the Bard, so that Oracle would have gotten a raise off. And the Monk's already crystallized, so Saudia's permanently up uh, by one unit. And Isidora does grab the crystal, letting that Oracle live. But I don't think it's good. I don't think that uh, Marov can make a recovery here because. These elementals from the bard are just laying them to waste. 110 Mersane heal, good job. Another 78 damage. Now Oracle is in critical already. Voodoo Shaman is going to go for one more raise. So the wizard gets picked up again, and she gets put right back down. This is why elemental is so good on this map. Another gunshot takes out the Oracle. Once again, it's a four on one, and I don't think that Samurai is going to cut it. Uh, Dean the Bard finally gets healed up, so he's going to be able to get back in the fight. Isadora is going to go for another gunshot, withering down that Samurai. Kiku, no counter flood, but he's going to get X Potion right up. So, 143 damage, pretty impressive right there. One more gunshot, and Saudia wins. Nice. Saudia wins 2-0. GG.